Back to Fox and Friends. The invasion of Ukraine now taking a toll on our borders as Mexican officials struggle to deal with an influx of Russian migrants. Unlike Ukrainians who are allowed into the country, Russian asylum seeker seekers are being denied entry and forced to wait indefinitely in Tijuana. Here to discuss is former acting DHS secretary Ken Cuccinelli. Ken, welcome. This situation tells me two things. One, Russians want to leave Russia, and two, they know our, op our <laughs> southern border is open, right? <laughs> Yeah, those are two things. And uh, a third, when you see the asylum claims coming out of this population, is that there is f downright fear among Russians of their own government. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't random. Now, they can be gaming our asylum system. Um, other people do that all the time. Nonetheless, I would add that third one in there, Rachel. Um, and, and I do think that setting immigration aside for the moment, there's some benefit to us on the political world political stage of granting some of these asylum cases so we can tell their story to undermine Putin in the eyes of the world. So uh, again, that's aside from the, the immigration aspect of this, but you're absolutely right, Rachel. The view of the world is, well, this is an open door. All I've got to do is get there. So. They fly to Mexico. Venezuelans have been doing this until the Mexicans cut it off recently. Um, and people are doing it from all over the world um, outside the Western Hemisphere. They fly to Mexico and walk up to the U.S. because they know it's an open border because of Joe Biden's policies. So, Ken, apparently there is a mass group of migrants, maybe as much as 170,000 sort of waiting outside of our uh, outside of our borders, trying to get in. I guess the Biden administration is asking for volunteers to help them. I mean, what right. is going on here? We have a border patrol. Well, I know our border is open, but tell me about this volunteer situation and also about this mass of migrants. Sure. So we used volunteers as well during surges at the southern border. But what we used them for was to get the law enforcement officers, those border patrol agents, back on the line. Mm. What they're using them for is to process their catch and release to get them out of facilities. They're embarrassed about the possibility of you all in the media uh, broadcasting pictures of their overcrowded facilities, especially, of course, when they have children in them. They're just trying to avoid that optic. That's it. That's what those volunteers are for. Yeah. The crisis. It's not enforcement. The crisis just keeps growing at the border. I heard that. Um, that uh, President Biden was being challenged to come to Kiev um, by some of Zelensky's people. He probably should stop at the border first. It appears that they the have border, right? no idea what's going on there, and they don't want to know, and it's all by design. Ken Cuccinelli, yep. thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Good to be with you.